What's up, Piper Drivers? I'm back for another booth tour today. I'm at the Gentle Giant booth. Here to check out all the cool stuff that they have here at the Diamond Select Gentle Giant booth at Star Wars Galaxies. Star Wars Galaxies, Star Wars Celebration. I don't know why I said Star Wars Galaxies. I was at Star Wars Galaxies last night though, by the way. It was pretty damn fun. But anyway, back to what we're here for, booth tour. So they got some really dope statues here at Gentle Giant. I don't know where to begin. I guess we'll start at the top and work our way across. Check out these busts. That Wampa is awesome, man. That is a really awesome looking bust. It, in the size and scale of it. These are supposed to be one six bust, I believe. Yeah, one six bust, there's Andor. Looks really good, but you can see the difference in size right there of the Wampa next to him. That's cool, I really like that. So there you got a Andor. Nice details on the suit and everything. Portrait is a little bit off, I think, but not that bad. Really like the suit. All right, we got the blue snaggle tooth. Cool. Yeah, triple zero. I love this droid. Hey, he's got his blades out and everything like Wolverine. <laughs> cool. There's Fennec. Looks really good. All right, we got Boba Fett. We got a Luke Skywalker there in the back. That don't really look like Luke Skywalker at all. The Leia is amazing. Really like the Leia. That one came out really nice. All right. Elor's Matic. That one looks cool. Looks like the species anyway. There's Pre Vizsla. The Pre Vizsla is really nice. I like the Pre Vizsla a lot. May have to get that one. That one looks good. Coming soon. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. We got Bo Katan. That Bo Katan takes up a lot of space too because the arms are out like that. But I think it's really nice the way that looks. Cool. Here we got another Luke with the Yoda. Again, same thing. I feel like they're not capturing that portrait too well. But the Yoda looks good. All right. We got Moff Gideon. Cool. There we got Spaghetti Rook. That one looks pretty good in the back there. Really hard to get a focus on it. I'm trying to see if I could get a focus for you guys. There we go. We got a Mandalorian. Mandalorian looks pretty good. All right, then we got these one six scale milestone statues. First one's Han Solo in the Stormtrooper outfit. This would work really good for a Stormtrooper in the six scale. The portrait of Han is, is a little off. You know, and I feel like it's, it's uh, lacking, you know, paint, but it, it doesn't really look like Han. Still, I think it would make a good Stormtrooper. The helmet looks good. So you can swap out there. The Lando is really nice. The portrait on Lando looks really good. And I like the pose. You know, and you got the Cloud City style base. So that looks great. There is the same Stormtrooper suit for Han, you can see, with the helmet on. So cool. The Obi-Wan is awesome. I really like the way the Obi-Wan looks. Yeah, the detail on this is really, really good. All right, then we got a Darth Maul. This is the one from the, uh, from, the, from the Clone Wars, the final episodes of the Clone Wars. That one looks really cool. The lightsaber's huge. That looks good. The Ahsoka Tano. That one also looks really good. I like the portrait on her. She looks a little muscular. You know, looks a little older, I think, than she did in the animated series. But it's still a really nice looking statue. Let me try to see if I can get you a clear look. You guys can see the, she definitely has definition in those arms. It's still really nice. Both of these are one six scale and they're meant to work together. So it's a good companion piece. All right, then we got the Legends in 3D busts. They're supposed to be one half scale busts. 
So there is the Stormtrooper. Looks pretty good. We got a Yoda. I love the lower base on Yoda because you got that, the Dagobah base in his home. So that looks cool. We got a Tusken Raider. Okay. And then he has his Gaffy stick as the base, so that's neat. Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. Also looks cool. I like the black and the green on this. And then you have that uh, lower base there that's got the, the Rancor um, armrest, I think it is, from, the, from the, the throne chair. So that looks cool. We got the Luke Skywalker bust. So this looks good. I really like the way he looks with the helmet on. I like that you got the X-Wing as your base. So that's pretty cool. Really nice details. All right, then we got a Grogu. Grogu is, uh, this cannot be 1-6 scale. Grogu on seeing stone, 1-6 scale statue. That does not look 1-6 scale to me at all. This looks a lot bigger, even bigger than quarter scale. So that could be a misprint. Looks really good though. All right, then this I have on order. You got Cab Bane there in the back. Wish they had a little more lighting on it. But I like the way the Cad Bane looks. So you can get it like that, or they have the exclusive that's already sold out. But you get it with, um, with, uh, man, why can't I think of his name? Total. All right, cool. You got the Ahsoka Tano 1-6 scale bust. I think the portrait on this one is kind of meh. And, you know, but otherwise, okay. You got the Kenobi. This one looks good. It's not completely a light, complete like Mr. Alec Guinness, but it's close. I like it. In the back there, you have um, Ezra Bridger. That one's new. The yeah, Ezra looks good. I like the way that, that came out. I like that he's got the lightsaber over his head like that. So that's a nice piece. All right, then we got some more milestone statues here. We got a Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Okay, again, same thing, portrait, kind of off on, on, for Mark Hamill, but the rest of it looks pretty accurate. Nice little piece. We got a Obi-Wan Kenobi, Alec Guinness version. I like this one a lot. I like the robe, the details on the robe look really good. He's got his lightsaber, and then this is like when he's fighting Darth Vader, so it's got the Empire background, like uh, the, the wall panel from the Death Star. So that's pretty neat. We got an Ewok. The Ewok looks pretty good. I like the details on that. That's pretty cool. We got some of their classic jumbo figures. So you got a Mandalorian. We got a. Luke Skywalker there with a yellow lightsaber that he pulled out. Um, man. I'm drawing blanks today, guys. I know his name, but I can't figure it out in my head right now. <laughs> An Imperial officer. Got a Darth Vader. Um, uh, Star Killer, I think. Another Mandalorian. And then I got a Han Solo. Right. Yeah. Tarkin, right? No, no, not Tarkin. Ah, can't think of his name right now. All these medications I'm on right now. Really apologize for my voice also. I just, my throat's been hurting a lot and I'm, I'm not, not doing that well out here. All right, so then we got some more mini busts. There you got uh, Sabine Wren. She looks beautiful. We got a Ralph McQuarrie style Darth Vader or more of like a Rebels Darth Vader. And it comes with the swap out portrait right there where he got his, his uh, mask destroyed by, by Ahsoka Tano. You got Bo-Katan there in the back and then she has a swap out for the helmet. All right. We got a Wrecker also with a swap out for the helmet. It's cool. We got a Hera. 
and you got a chopper that goes with it. All right, and we got a General Kenobi. You don't understand the base. Otherwise, it's okay. This tusk in here looks pretty cool. So this is from the uh, Mandalorian. I like how that came out. It's different, you know. I'm just having them stand up, and you'll say you got a swap out arm for the for the uh, gaffy stick, or you can have the rifle. We got Boba Fett on the throne. This looks really good. I like how he's like leaned over like that. That came out nice. And how he has the uh, the rifle in his hand like that. It looks it looks powerful here. I like that. The throne could get a little more color, but otherwise okay. Got a one seven scale Mandalorian, which looks really good. I think that came out pretty nice. All right. Uh, we got Leia's Bausch. The portrait of Leia is really nice as well. Digging this. Really good look to her. We got Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. Again, I, I'm not really digging the portrait on her. But the rest of it looks pretty good. We got the Luke Skywalker. That Again, the, the portrait from Mark Hamill could be a little bit better. This is the end of Mandalorian season two. Looks pretty good. Mace Windu, this is awesome. We don't get to see too many Mace Windus. I wish Hot Toys would make it, but you know, still waiting on that. But man, I like this one. This is a really badass statue. I think out of everything I've seen here today, a gentle giant, this one here is my favorite. And then you got Jango Fett's helmet right there. Super cool. I like that one. Oh man, we got Amidala. Looks really nice. Holding the gun. In the middle of the battle of Geonosis. And then we got a Captain Rex. So Captain Rex is looking pretty good. And you gotta swap out for his portrait here. But it looks really nice. All right, that is everything here at the Gentle Giant booth at Star Wars Celebration. Lots of cool statues, like I said. Let me know what you guys think about this one here in the comments below. What was your favorite piece? I'll be coming back at you with more booth tours. So, you know, make sure you tune in for more of that. And until next time, may the force be with you.